Yo! Welcome back everyone to the Maple Hut. It has been around five years since I've done a video and I'm so sorry for the long intermission, but we are back and better than ever and I promise to do some more videos for you guys. Um, so before we get this started, um, I just want to give a quick shout out to iTech IT. Um, I was able to reference them throughout the process and they were just a big help. So yeah, shout out to you guys. All right, so let's dive right into it. How do you play MapleStory on a Mac? Uh, so what you want to do, first of all, is in the description, I'll have links to everything you need to download. Um, and that is VirtualBox and their extension. So click on the first link and that'll bring you here to VirtualBox's website. And what you want to do is download uh, the OSX hosts. I've already downloaded these, but um, yeah, go ahead and download that. The OSX hosts. And you'll also want to download this right here, uh, the extension pack. So as you can see, I have the extension pack here and the, oh, not that one, this one, virtual box right here. So I also already have these installed. So I'm not gonna uh, reinstall those. Um, so up next, what you'll need to do is download the Windows 10, uh, the version of Windows 10 OS. So click on the second link in the description and that'll bring you here. You want to select the edition of Windows 10. Confirm. It'll take a second. All right, and then you want to select your language, whatever your product language is, mine being English. Confirm. Okay, and yeah, we're good. So now you want to download the 64-bit version. Make sure this is a 64-bit download. Um, now what we do next is we come to the desktop. This is where I have, uh, or wherever you downloaded your items. Uh, make sure you install VirtualBox. After you have VirtualBox installed, make sure you open it up. And this is what will be uh, open right here. So up on the top left, you want to start a new, I already have one running and I'm actually currently downloading MapleStory as we speak. Uh, you want to click new and you want to name it Windows 10. All right, Windows 10, continue. Uh, oh, it looks like I already have a, yeah, so I'll just change the name a little bit. All right, continue. Okay, so right here is how much RAM or memory is going to be allocated to VirtualBox, meaning how much RAM out of your Mac is going to be allocated to Windows 10 and MapleStory or whatever you're doing on your Windows 10 OS. So um, I would recommend you uh, 3,000 megabytes. I mean, anywhere, anywhere that anything that your computer can handle um, is what you want to do. You know, I have a decent uh, Mac here, so I can crank up my memory a little higher. But you know, 3,000 I think is a good spot. Um, so yeah, you want to go ahead and create the virtual hard disk. Uh, if I'm going a little too quick, um, just go ahead and pause the video. Uh, I apologize for the speed, but I'm, I want to make sure it's kind of a short video for you guys. I don't want to make it too too long. So, yep, continue. Dynamically allocated. Right here is where you um, are deciding how much space will be on your Windows 10 OS. So, 32 gigs is fine, I believe. I uh, yeah, MapleStory is only 10 gigs. So. Um, yeah, 32 gigs is fine or whatever you want to put there go ahead and create it okay so here now that we have it created you want to go to your settings and go to storage uh, well back to system this is where you can change your base memory but yeah go to storage and you want to click on the CD disk right here click on the CD disk on the side and open choose virtual optical disk file and this is where the actual Windows 10 file comes uh, in handy. So you want to go to your desktop or wherever you downloaded your Windows 10 version, mine being on my desktop. Go here, open that up. Now that it's opened up, you can see it here. Go ahead and hit OK. Save the settings. Um, yeah, and just to double check, we got, oh yeah, make sure your port, uh, your USB port is on 3. Click OK there. Now everything is good, you can hit start. And when you hit start, your virtual box is going to open and your Windows 10 will start. Um, and then from here, what you're gonna do is Windows 10 is going to ask you a few questions like your language, email address, and all that. Get your account set up. 
Once you have your account set up, go ahead and open that Microsoft Edge and download MapleStory. Uh, it's really that simple, so I'm going to go ahead and power off this one. I don't need it anymore. Remove, delete all files. Yeah, so I'm downloading MapleStory right now. I wish I could play it for you guys right now, but uh, it'll be done in a little while. Maybe I'll do more video. Well, I'm sure I'm going to do more videos involving MapleStory gameplay or anything like that. So whatever you guys want to see from me, um, MapleStory gameplay, I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials on this video all the time. Um, I don't plan on stopping on that at all. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions or if you have any comments or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, I will get back to everybody, as, as many people as I can, you know what I'm saying, um, and help you guys with your questions. Also, please give us a like and subscribe. The more you like us, the more YouTube likes us, and we like that. So yeah, have a great day. Thanks.